And I had something cute. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, hey, intermediates, third period uh, art. Um, let me see if you can see that. Yes, you can. Okay, so today, obviously, you came, if you're in our virtual classroom, in our Zoom, you came to your announcement section. And, and right here, 916 is saying, continue working on your contour line drawing of your book bag and the text that responds to what weighs you down. I'm gonna go back over that today. I'm gonna to go back over that presentation because yesterday Google wasn't uploading or I haven't, I, I couldn't get it to work. So I'm gonna go back over that. But I also added just something fun that I'm doing with my art foundation students. We're working with positive and negative. And um, so I'm gonna show it to you right now. And you know, it would be cool because you're in intermediate art and um, if you have, you know, this, this item at your house, you're more than welcome to uh, do it. I just want to show you, it's kind of a cool thing. And then I'm going to go over your actual long project. Um, so if you click on this link right here, it says Oreo art. And I'm just going to pull it up on a bigger um, presentation, or at least I thought I was. I'm gonna go back to that. So if you click on this, and keep in mind, this is what I'm doing with my foundations. We're doing much more simple positive negative design. But I did want to show you this at home. Um, I do want you to kind of do a couple of sketches in addition, um, adding it to your sketch assignment. I'm going to turn the lights off for a second and just kind of go over this because it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool to um, see different various ways of uh, taking what we do in art and um, seeing it in applied life. It's kind of a fun thing. It's called food art. Um, I know you've probably seen it on the food channels and such. Um, you have this, uh, those of you at home, you, you have this on your, in your announcement section, the video, so you won't be looking at it reverse, obviously, as it is here now. Um, and it starts off with a video about shape. You, you know, you don't have to look at that, but I thought this was great because we're doing a lot of, uh, art history and you, you're taking art history sketch, sketchbook notes every day. And I just thought this was an, another cute way of, uh, you know, just exposing you to different materials. I mean, this is literally an Oreo cookie and a toothpick and, you know, scratching and removing certain areas of the negative space away to make a positive image emerge. So this is a screen, the scream. It's a very famous painting. I'm pretty sure all my intermediate people have seen that before. I think this is a famous painting too, but I can't remember, but I know I've seen this image somewhere, but you can see, you know, you're just removing the creamy fluff and using the background of the Oreo cookie as a negative space to show these um, examples. Air Jordan, very, very, um, very recognizable image. And then obviously, you know, artists get way crazy with things. And so this particular artist is using the golden Oreo and I'm pretty sure has made their own uh, coloring and dyes and stuff to make this. Um, this clearly wasn't done just with one cookie, um, but this, uh, this artist did a uh, Van Gogh self-portrait right here, made a palette out of the cookies, and then also did a uh, Starry Night. These get very in depth. I mean, obviously you're not gonna be at your house carving, you know, this type of relief uh, out of the creamy fluff. But maybe if you got the super fluffy ones, um, you know, the double stuff ones could be done. Um, this is cool with the cameo. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys this. I thought it was interesting. Um, Harry Potter, pretty cool. Um, very cute little idea, positive negative shape. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, you can tell this is Minnie Mouse because of her eyelashes, that one little line right there. These actually remind me of earrings for some reason. That gets us the jewelry in me. So if we were all here in class, we would be doing a project about it. Um, 
and we would watch this little video. I would watch this video. It's something fun. I mean, if you're at your house all the time and you're bored and you got some Oreo cookies, um, it would be something cool to explore. Also, uh, I think they've got the Halloween ones out, which have the orange, um, the orange candy or the orange color. So it'd be kind of cool to, you know, do something um, with that. Uh, maybe I can make it into some extra credits, but I do want you to watch the video in it today with your sketches, uh, maybe sketch out something you would carve. Um, I'm going to show you some actual student examples now and not fancy artists. So here's a cat and it's pretty cool. They've even used the, you know how Oreos get all over the place with the little dusting from the cookie. They've used that for the stripes, which is pretty cool. And then here's a whole bunch of very simple examples. Obviously, this is just a little fun thing to do. Um, there's a there's a skyline, there's a wave, Pac-Man, like a volleyball, um, emojis are really cool for this, um, the yin and yang sign, uh, uh, a mountain type of sign, uh, a mountain landscape type of thing. Like I said, if we were all here in this class, you know, I'd be giving you Oreo cookies and we'd be carving and we'd be coming up with, and we would come up with some cool things, the Nike sign, Jaws, a uh, little panther paw down there. Um, just some cute, just some cute little some something alien emoji thing there. And really that's just it. I just kind of wanted to show you that. I think it's fun to see, you know, some interesting cool things. But what we need to more importantly talk about is your assignment, your project. It should be a rather lengthy project, meaning you're working on it. Um, it's right here called The Things You Carry. And I did, last week I did a great big um, presentation on this on the board, um, how to draw, you know, looking at your object with a contour line. But essentially I just wanna review for everybody, you are going to create a contour line drawing of either your backpack or a bag or a purse or something that you, you carry stuff in you know maybe it's your you know your bag to take to the gym or to you know football practice or or whatever um you're going to be doing um how about carson just texted me and said did they show i should say no they're lost yes they did they're getting ready to eat some oreos because don't think i didn't bring out some oreos okay um so you are Putting your bag in front of you, you're drawing a contour line of that. I'm gonna, I did it on the board the other day. I'll show you that in a minute when I turn the lights on. And then here's some examples that, you know, I kind of like to play with. So here's a contour line drawing of your bag, some sort of bag in the background. Oh, why do I do that? Why? La, 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 la. Okay, I'm gonna try not to hyper press the things that I hyper press. Okay, in the background, you are filling the background with text of some sort. And the, the, the text that you are gonna be responding to is what physical or emotional you know weight do you carry we're, we're putting the emphasis here on the weight of a book bag obviously right now things should be very weighty for you with uh having you know to do uh everything digitally now um you probably have a lot more stress with that what type of work you know maybe you're journaling out everything that's going on with you and all your frustrations everybody carries some sort of emotional or physical weight on them. So in the background, in the, in the negative space or creatively, I've showed you these before, like this one right here. I love, um, it's got, uh, these kind of raindrops, like a raindrop shape and it's got like a word repeated in it over and over and over again. And then this kind of like puddle right here, you know, this is very personal to you. It doesn't have to, you know, be legible. Um, but you know, what kind of weight are you carrying? How can you show 
the weight of something the that's personal to you which is why we're using a, a book bag of sorts and here's another one right here um you can tell uh there's a lot of words that kind of pop out anxious uptight lonely wallflower you know this is a personal expression a personal project for you you are specifically drawing your book bag a book bag that you're going to sit in front of you and i'm going to turn the lights on so i can show you uh just the example I did the other day on the board. So, as a review, you're going to, you can kind of see that contour line drawing right there. As a review, you're going to take your book bag or your, your bag or something that you know you use a lot, you're gonna sit it in front of you, like here's a chair, you know, and then in your sketchbook, you're gonna look at that object and keep your eye on that object and draw that object in your sketchbook, that's in your, on your paper, in your sketchbook. Um, that's the first thing you're gonna do. And then how are you gonna personalize it? How are you gonna bring the concept of weight um, to this assignment? What weighs you down? Is it currently right now all of your stress in school that's weighing you down? Is it other personal, you know, uh, things that you're dealing with? This is a great vehicle to get that out of you. Um, you know, maybe you're free riding it all in the background. Um, this, this project is uh, specifically um, dealing with yourself. So you're gonna do a little bit of self-reflection and fill this, you know, fill the background in um, with text. Um, various sizes, you can be creative as you want. So that's what we're working on. I have the due date for the 18th, which I think is this Friday. Um, I would love to see some preliminary. I've had a few students show me what they have going on. I would love to see more of that. You can email me, we can set up some Zooms in the afternoon, or you can, you know, obviously, show me here if you want to, but I would like to see some, see where you're at with this. Also, don't forget you have your sketch assignment today. Um, I think you're writing, Arctura, is that right? You're writing the information from Rembrandt? Right, but that would have been today, I think. I think so. Remember, remember you have like a sketch, you're drawing the image one day and then you're writing the, the information the next day, but most of you probably already do it all at the same time. So don't forget to do your sketch assignment. Don't forget to load those up on Friday. Don't forget that I have opened up every assignment and made the closing date uh, September 24th, which I think is next week, which is the last day of the marking period for the six weeks. So if you have some unfinished items or things that close before you could upload it, this would be the time to upload it. Um, you have a lot of time, um, obviously now, because I'm going to stop recording, work on your sketches, work on this book bag, uh, contour line drawing with text, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Email me um, or call me if you have any questions.